Hello people, how are ya? My name's Kev, this is Angling and Anxiety. It's all about the angling. That's about the anxiety. Right, welcome back to Angling Anxiety again, guys. It's been quiet as usual. I'm just doing videos as and when I'm having a trip worth doing, basically. I'm still doing a bit of fishing, but it's solely been the shark fishing, so. I haven't bothered boring the brain out of you. Um, I've just been going shark fishing and then generally blanking. Um, so yeah, we're on our way down to Cornwall. We're doing a three day drive and survive. Gonna survive off a beach. Um, hopefully gonna catch some fish to eat because otherwise we're gonna go hungry. We've also got two days shark fishing. Um, may do a day um, a little like, snorkeling with the fish. So yeah, fingers crossed. We'll get down to Paul for Keris Divers Club, which is my little favorite spot. And we're gonna uh, set up camp for the night and then we're out at seven in the morning fishing. So fingers crossed. See you in a sec. Let's get down the beach. Well guys, we're just arriving at Paul for Keris Divers Club. Coolness scenes. Absolutely unreal. There's a fair few people camping, so we're hoping that we're gonna be able to get onto the spot that we usually fish. But yeah man. I've missed Cornwall, it's been a couple of months. We're gonna be doing some beach fishing. Um, don't know if I just said this, probably did, yeah. Beach fishing and then there's some shark fishing. Gonna do some snorkeling, some scavenging, some foraging. Just generally living off the land. So we'll see what comes of it, man. Well, the rods are straight out, guys, and I've just had a bite of mine, so I've let Tom have it. I hope we've got a fish on. Just fishing ragworm. Just some turk flappers. Look at the clarity. Absolutely, look at that. I'm going snorkeling tomorrow all around these rocks. Can't wait. See what's on here, if anything. We're well, definitely a knock. Um, whether we've hit it or not is a different question. Does it feel like anything's on it? No, nah, they're quite sensitive in rods. So if there was, you'd probably feel it. Look, rass. Little baby cuckoo. Uh, cuckoo? Bellum. That'd be days. Look at the smile. <laughs> Just had another double shot in the ragworm. Some beautiful fish. Happy man. <laughs> Happy days. Another cool little species, guys. And I am about to go and have a dive. Fingers crossed. Well, guys. I'm about to go and see if I can find us a lobster or a crab. Um, probably won't, but either way, I'm going to go and have a snorkel. So, fingers crossed. Hang on. This wasn't made to measure, as you can see. Well, that was cool, man. My first actual dive. Um, didn't get nothing. <laughs> That's life. Um, but so was a shoulder mackerel. So a shoulder's a really small fish. Not too sure what it was. Um, some brass, some bass. So yeah, it's pretty cool out there, man. Quite low visibility. But what more do you want? Look at this. Look. Three sleeping bags. Three bed chairs. Living a dream, mate. 
dry my wetsuit out. Tom's just out there having a dive at the minute. So yeah, it's cold, man. Tom suffers massively with anxiety and I've promised him for ages, listen, come with me to Cornwall and I will open your eyes. I look at him now, look. <laughs> well cool man. Just dropped some baits off of the drone. Right out. About here. Pretty further. About here. Um, big fish bait. Just see what comes of it. Probably nothing, but you never know. But yeah man. Cool. Proper cool. Just love it. Absolutely love it. Well the, well, the sun is set, guys. We've had rats. We've got Tom over there on the rocks, absolutely living his best life. He's just had a scad on the uh, on the lure. Um, we've had scad. Got another one? Oh, he's so happy he's left him, honestly. All he's ever wanted to do is come to Cornwall and catch a fish on a lure. And have a look at him go. Oh, <laughs> look at him so happy. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. Absolute legend, bro. <laughs> legend. Right at the moment, guys. This is what it's all about. We're absolutely loving life, man. Well, yeah, there it is. Lovely, sizable bass. Happy days. That's going. <laughs> this is going on for the dinner. We've got scad, which I've never eaten. Um, We've got a cut of bits of steak that we bought to go with our fish. Like it is a drive and survive, but at the end of the day, like we're just we're just playing with it. You know what I mean? We're having fun with it. Um, yeah, buzzing for Tom, buzzing to be here. I love Cornwall, man. I won't do any videos, guys, unless I'm going on a little adventure. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm not out here to make millions of pounds. I'll become a full-time YouTuber. I'm out here to share my experience. Um, and just be myself. I chased it for a little while too long and I realised that I was sort of coming out myself, I won't be myself. Um, so I've stopped all that now and I'm just being natural, just good old, good old Kev, what everyone loves. So, straight in the call box. This down there. Happy days. That was a good one. Well, as you all know from previous videos, guys, Nick is the ultimate chef, mate. We've got some fillet steak. Just said that, but I'm going to say it again. He's just preparing the mushrooms. Don't know what he's doing. He like does some finger. He touches them in that, and they taste really nice. Don't know finger. how he does it. <laughs> Fingers them. <laughs> but yeah, wetsuits not dry him. Who cares? Can't say nothing, but yeah, it's good, man. It's a good life. It's been a good, good start of day. Hopefully tomorrow we're straight onto the blues. And tonight we're in the uh, place camp. All cuddling and that. Love and life. I'll bring you back in a second when it's halfway through preparation. But you can't disturb a man at work, so just have to bear with. This whole trip, boy. So amongst the food guys I forgot to record it but absolutely unreal. Went for the uh mixed bit, then we're gonna have a bit of bass for the uh pudding. In goes the bass people. It's well gone midnight and we're just loving life. Ginger, chili, garlic. Have we got any chili in that actually, we don't have we yet? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Absolutely daddy mate. Well guys, that is one night over. It's time to jump in bed. See the morning. And just like that guys, it is the morning. Slept quite well. Um bit of broken sleep. Sort of interrupted by snoring by the other boys. And I think we all wake each other up snoring to be honest with you. But yeah. 
Paul Kerris in all its glory. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Just got all the stuff packed up. Took us about 10 minutes. Did go down to the rocks, try for a few mackerel on the feathers, no joy. Um, so we're gonna go and pack up. Um, go and pack up, go and get some food for today's trip out in the shark boat. Good old Anglo Dawn. Um, and then back down here later on, doing a bit more snorkeling. I'm gonna do a bit of free diving. Um, yeah, so it's all good in the hood. See what comes of it later on, eh? Right, rods are out, guys. Chum is slicking nice. Tom's picked the uh, number one chip, so he's going first. Living the dream. The floats are being absolute swear words at the minute. But yeah, chumming out lovely. Sun shining, nice little bit of chop. Good bit of sharpen with her. Oh, it's quite coloured. I mean, it's not coloured in comparison to most normal, normal pickles, but for Cornwall, it's quite coloured. But yeah, let's get some sharks. Well, guys, it's been a long day. Still no sharks, unbelievably. Um, a lot of algae bloom in the water. One of them things. Got about another 40 minutes left. If it doesn't happen, we'll be back out tomorrow. Very strange, very, very, very strange. Old skipper hasn't blanked in a very long time, but it looks like that's the way it's going. It's odd. But that is fishing. <laughs> it's quite a bit, isn't it? Well, guys, just like that, we're down by the rocks. Got a little lure rod, Tom's down here. Um, we did blank on the sharks, which is very unusual. On Anglo, I um, spoke to a few of the other folks, and they all blanked as well. So there's a lot of algae bloom, um, plankton in the water. Spoke to Dr. Simon Thomas, um, he's a good friend of Andy's and us, I've got quite a good relationship with him as well and he seems to think that there might be some sort of poisonous plankton in the water, they're doing a test on it at the minute, there's survey boats, survey boats out at the minute so but yeah at the minute just going to chuck a little about and see what comes with it so here's for having a go eh? Found a little cave guys, go and have a little explore. Madness. No hidden treasure in here. Oh look, it's wild Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's not much going on in here. <laughs> Mate, you're right. Oh well. I've now switched to doing a bit of light reef fishing, guys. That's probably from where it's collapsed up there, so probably not best to be in there now anyway. I've left all my bait on the uh, boat, so I'm just uh, using sabikis. Usually I'd like to bait them for light reef stuff, but here's what it is. Nice clear pool down there, nothing in it while it's there. No, wrong way. Obviously when you're on tired marks like this, you've got to be careful to be on where the water's not going to trap you off, do you know what I mean? It looks like it could be a fish in there. No, no fish. Well, I'll bring you back. Well, I've had a swim. It's cold. Um, seen some big, big wrasse. Saw a lobster. Dived down for it. Just dumb me. Couldn't get deep enough. Um, yeah, that was the end of that one. Now I've got these 2 to 10 gram spinning rod out with some mackerel feathers on and a little carp weight and uh, some ragworm on the bottom three hooks. Let's see if we can snare a wrasse. Proper ultra light gear. Just fishing, literally. Stone throw out. Nick's got his rod out as well. 
see what comes of it, man. Feel grateful to be here anyway. Was that a bite on that, Nick? Oh, tricked me, didn't you? Yeah, I hope people get a rest or two. Into a fish. Mix it into a ras. It's a pretty little thing as well, but look for it. Nice balloon. Fish and I stole it. <laughs> I told you they were. Look at the patterns on that one, that's a brilliant one. Looks like camouflage, doesn't it? Yeah, well cool man. Made for the kelp. Oops. The gunners. Cool fish. I'll let you do with that, Nick. I'm gonna catch a five pounder on this. Nah. Oh look at that guys, on the light here. Look at the colours in the mouth. Whoa, cool man. Proper had a steaming run on the little uh, spinning rod. Oh, that was well fun, man. What a beautiful little fish. Just get that dorsal up. Look at that. What a fish, man. Well happy with that. Gonna get some photos. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, guys. The beds are in. The Ooh, beach is there. In my bed. <laughs> <laughs> we are bivvied up. Got oh, three peas in the pod. And ready to go. So, until the morning, guys. Good night. God bless. And uh, see you in a sec. Well, it is the morning, guys. We've overslept slightly. Look at that view. Beautiful. Let's go and try and catch a shark. Here we have a leg of a wild skipper. What a fine specimen. <laughs> this is why we love him. <laughs> Alright guys, number one ticked off a list. Just add this on a super light um, spinning rod with a carp float. Well fun man. <laughs> Literally, proper running fish and everything. Well happy with it. Who cares about sharks when you got garfish? Next into a gar. The old light gear. Proper yeah, spot. They're <laughs> fun, aren't they? Look at that. Oh, he's come off. Oh well, one that got away. Oh, look at this beauty, people. Here we have. <laughs> We've got sick of catching sharks. Can we talk? <laughs> Had lots of garfish, some tub gurnards, and here we are saving the environment by collecting bottles. As you can see, the floats are down the side of the boat because the tide is being a beep. But we can't help that. So we are indeed persevering with the conditions and blanking once again. How I love shark fishing. Right, people, we've had enough of sharks. They've caught far too many, so we're going to leave them alone for a bit. Let's protect the environment. That was indeed another shark. Slapping the bat. <laughs> Tickle Tom. <laughs> now we're going to do a bit of wreck fishing. Um, you know what I mean? Complete the shark, so we're going to go and complete the wrecks. Nick a few John Dorries and uh, go on our way. So, see you in a sec. First blood for me, guys. <laughs> Happy days. Happiness. <laughs> Everyone's had a fish. Dave's had a good one. Happy days. Cut the good ones. Love it. A little cold leaf for the mix, people. Doing alright. Another 
one for the collection, a little cod on fire, mate. The boys are having a go now as well. Happy days, Tom's got a good fish on, I think. I mean, it, just, it don't want to stop. It's pulling fair hard, look. <laughs> look at that pressure on it. You can go, look at the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like pouting. Tom of pouting. <laughs> this is a double figure pollock, is this? Oh, I don't know. Double figure ling. I think I've got the wreck here. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> it's got a weak link anyway, isn't it? Yeah, wreck. Don't want to play games, is it, Sammy boy? Hanging on for dear life. Why? Don't think that's in the wreck, do you? No, it's not gaining that, on it? It's in the wreck. Just took your deep, that is. No, it's slipping. That's every time you lift up, it's slipping. Bring it back in a minute, guys, to see if we've caught a 300 ton shipwreck or a Pollock, but it's definitely a shipwreck. Well, it was indeed a wreck. It did have a fish on, but it took him into the wreck, so God knows what that was. Just going back round, have another couple of drops. All that fish. Good. Good. And a good species. I've done well, to be honest with you. I'm a bit of a wreck master, you see. Right, the tide's dropped right off guys, so we're going to go and see if we can get a link. Pretty simple rig. You've got your weak link on your lead here. Goes up to this, come down to a muppet, big hook, mackerel on the hook bait, onto a clip. Jobs are good and